finally <laughs> I make it flat and it's looks like flat uh, there's some wavy spots over there but it's fine it's on um, no skid surface anyway I don't really care so I'm really care about this lawn thing to cover so the rest will be no skid The coffee is uh, getting ready and I'm thinking of making uh, some kind of box uh, to cover those holes I have on my deck. So I've got uh, two big holes and four small for the screws and I'm planning to make some sort of uh, box with the, with the lip and I want to uh, uh, glue it down on uh, um, what do you call it, uh, butyl tape. I mean it's just uh, minor like uh, prevention of water ingress. Build hole for the water in, 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 inlet 
and I have a 45 millimeters uh, hole to be made and this is 44 millimeters uh, also uh, but with the teeth will be 45 generally so I can just grind it off extras What do we have here? So the uh, screws are passed through pretty much straight, so I have uh, access for all of them. Well, it's obviously the same place. Uh, the pipe itself uh, sitting more uh, less less loose, I would say. And uh, yeah, it looks fine to me. The mini temporary hatch is uh, ready. The screws are really inside. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just want to trim the edges and uh, I will need to sand this area too because this is uh, too rough for the surface and good to go. Check the weather, precipitation, and there's gonna be rain overnight. And next night will be even more rain. So I don't want to risk with the primer because you might not uh, cure it by the time the rain starts. So I don't want to remove this after. So I will probably just a few more holes. This tension. Well, it's I don't know where this location is now. <laughs> 
I will drill a pile spot from underneath and um, we'll see. Yeah, I could say this is a perfect hole. <laughs> um, I'm gonna bevel those holes for the single reason that when I apply butyl tape on, on the balls, the butyl tail tape will uh, jump in cavity and jump this bolt as much as possible and make it natural seal and no, no drip will go through. And I made those uh, backing plates like this, so I can tie the bolt with this tension pretty much easy. So it started on temp temporarily. This hole I uh, closed uh, by this uh, mini hatch uh, that will probably prevent the water ingress from rain. I decided to dry fit the uh, tutorial. Well, I want to drill a hole actually, and uh, I'm not sure how good is the feeling of the resin inside. So, if I need to add a little more, I can do it right now before painting. I installed the tow rail, uh, well, I installed just drill holes uh, and I inserted a couple of screws, some of them are tightened. Yeah, um, looks fine, so now I have to take it apart again and uh, bevel uh, all holes. Well, I got the holes, so I can countersink them and call it a day. in place so the deck is secured shouldn't be any leakage at all and I can call it a day this is it for today thank you for watching if you like this video please hit thumbs up subscribe leave comments down below thank you bye